Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draculic and today I want to show you how you can model a tennis racket. A racket, uh, the easy way always, a, a racket with a net and all. So in our first part of this tutorial I'm going to show you today how you can model the net of our tennis racket. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I need first to press 7 on numpad, so I'm switching over to the top view. And uh, in order for us to get the, uh, the basic shape, the net, we need to add, by pressing Shift A, a curve circle. So let's go ahead and add a curve circle here. Now that we have the circle, tap into edit mode and select any one of the handles and just drag it a little bit until you have this oval shape. Now you could select also those handles here and scale them up a little bit by pressing SY until you get the overall uh, shape of a, of a racket net. So if you need to adjust any of those handles you can select it and then you can press V and switch over to from the automatic to the aligned mode so now you can scale it up or down as you see fit until you are satisfied with the result all right so you can move it something like so so let's say that we have uh, this is the shape we, uh, we we need to have for us in order for us to start with so now next thing we want to do is to go up here to the curve context and uh, switch over from the 3d to 2d so we need for our curve to be uh, a 2d curve so now you can see we have this nice surface that looks like the uh, the the net of the racket so uh, next thing we want to do is to go ahead and add the modifier uh, to our uh, curve which is gonna be the remesh modifier but before that i want to show you that if you try now to uh, convert this into a mess by pressing alt c and i'm now converting it into a mess just like that and tap into the mode you can see that we have a lot of triang triangulated faces so in order for us to get this rectangular whatever net uh, effect we need to do something before that so let's go ahead and quickly undo this so now I need to go to the modifiers, uh, you know, context button over here and add the modifier, remesh modifier to my curve. As you can see, our curve now has been, has disappeared. And the reason for that is that you need to go once again back to the, uh, to the curve context and you need to add some extrude from the geometry panel here. You need to find the extrude slider and add some extrude, just a tiny little bit extrude, to our curve. Let's say something like so. Now we have our shape back. Okay, also if you go now to the object context here, this little cube icon over, over here, and you search for a, uh, for, a, for a button that says right wire, click on that, check that, and you, have, you can have a preview of how our uh, our net will look like our mesh uh, after we have converted our curve into a mesh. So now we can go over here to the modifiers and we can play a little bit around with the octree depth. So let's, uh, let's give it some more depth here by clicking. You can go for 5 or even 6 in order to have a more dense net. Okay, so I think we are uh, now good to go with this and the uh, next thing we want to do is to convert our our curve into a mess by clicking alt c now and now i have converted our uh, my curve into a mess so if i'm now tab if i now tab into edit mode you can see i have a mess here the next thing i want to do is to get rid of those faces that are uh, you know at the bottom at the bottom of my of my mesh so in order for me to do so i'm pressing control tab switch over to the face control mode select any one of those faces at the bottom okay and then i go down here to the select menu and i'm selecting linked flat faces so now i have immediately selected all the faces that are underneath 
right at the bottom of those of that shape. Now I'm switching by pressing Ctrl Tab to the vertex select mode, and I having selected all those vertices, I'm pressing X to delete the vertices. So I have left with only those vertices that are at the top of my mesh. So now I need to select any one of those vertices and then I need to select this one and this one and every other one so I can uh, move them a little bit down downwards and give this uh, effect of the net of, 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 the, of my racket. So in order to do so, the easy way always, I'm going to select by pressing A all of this and then I, I will go down here to the select menu and I'm going uh, this time I'm going to select checker deselect so now immediately as you can see I have selected uh, every other vertex as you can see okay the easy way so now I can switch over to the side view pressing 5 if needed so I, I, I switch over to the orthographic uh, view mode and I'm moving all those selected vertices just a tiny little bit downwards by pressing G, Z and holding down shift while I'm dragging them downwards just a tiny little bit something like so so I have this nice effect of the net for my racket alright now next thing I need to do is to go up here to the modifiers and add the modifier wireframe now as you can see I have my wireframe here already and I can play around with the thickness from the uh, modifiers properties panel here so I find the thickness slider and move it uh, slide it so I, until I am happy with the thickness of my net all right something like so okay you can see so now next thing I want to do uh, is to give it a material to my net so I'm going over to the uh, material materials context here adding a new material this material should be a rather transparent material so I'm clicking on the transparency uh, you know button here I'm choosing ray trace transparency and I'm setting the IOR or index of refraction to something like 1.4 also I if I want to, I can uh, give it a rather bluish color, something like so. And just for you to see how this would look like, of course you have to adjust the alpha value as well. So bring down the alpha value to something like that, something like so. Alright, so just for you to have an idea how this would look like when render it, I'm moving this upward just a little bit and I'm adding a mesh plane so I'm tapping it with mode, scale up my plane okay and now I'm pressing zero in my numpad so I'm looking through my camera I'm selecting my camera pressing G Z Z okay so I can move my camera along its local Z axis so I'm zooming in alright and now I'll try a render so I'm pressing F12 F12 excuse me so now you can see we have this nice net effect with transparency and all and we did it the easy way all right without having to uh, to use the array modifier perhaps or something like that so uh, that completes uh, our tutorial for today uh, in the next part of our tutorials of this tutorial series I'm going to show you how you can model the frame, how you can add materials, how you can parent the net to the frame of the rag of the tennis racket and uh, finally you how you can have a satisfying result. That was our tutorial for today. Hope you enjoyed it, that you learned something from this. If you like this don't forget to subscribe. See you next time with the next part of this tutorial. Until then have fun and goodbye.